gonna be like the coldest week ever according to the weather i am going to edit tonight's vlog well i'm hoping to get it up early i like to upload early on sundays so i'm gonna start editing the vlog last night i was at my friend's house and i took an uber because um hold on i took an uber because i let my mom stay with my car so i took an uber there and then when I came back, it was pretty late. Like I called an Uber like around one in the morning to bring me back home and I was with Max. So I called the Uber. Um, it says the Uber's there. The Uber guy calls me and he's like, hey, I'm here. I'm like, okay, I'm coming out right now. Whatever, I hang up. Come outside, there's like no one there. Like there's no cars on. I call him back and he's like, oh, I'm by like a school. I'm like, there's no schools around here i don't know and he's like aren't you here like and he was he sounded so weird like he was like slurring his words like he sounded kind of drunk and then he said like a street and i'm like no that's not where i am like he was like at a completely wrong address which is weird because i put the i double checked that i put the right address on uber and it was right so i just canceled the ride because I just got a bad feeling. I'm like, I don't know. This this guy sounds really weird. So I just canceled the ride. And my friend ended up taking me home. But, yeah. I'm just telling you guys a story. You should, like, always follow your gut instincts. Like, I had a feeling like something wasn't right with that guy. And maybe he could have been totally fine. But I just felt like something was off. Like, he sounded a little drunk. So I just canceled it anyways. He wasn't around. Um, I have no idea what address he was at. But yeah, that was like my little Saturday night story. I really just want to relax the whole day at home. I don't really want to go outside, but I do have to go pick up my car. Well, they have to drop off my car. Um, I think the only re the only other thing I want to go outside for is to get food because I have nothing to eat here. But other than that, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do my makeup. I don't even want to get dressed. Like, it's one of those Sundays. And I'm very excited to do nothing. I thought I wasn't getting dressed today, but I ended up going to the supermarket because uh, I didn't want to order food. And I got my car. I went to visit my parents. And now I'm back home. I just finished uploading the vlog. See if anyone's watched it yet. I picked up these cookies from the supermarket. I just went to ShopRite. They're from Goya. They're called Maria Cookies. My friends kept talking about it last night. They were saying it's so good, so... I'm gonna try them now. Mmm. They are good. So my friend Ada, Gypsy in the City TV, that's her channel if you guys wanna check her out. She, on Snapchat, she kept talking about this show called Insecure on HBO. And I started watching it right now. I'm literally like halfway into the first episode. I just took a break to come upload my video. And so far, I really, really like it. So, thank you, Ada, for the recommendation. I really, really like it. All right, it is officially winter. Like, it's freezing. I cannot leave without a coat anymore. By the way, you guys keep asking me where my green coat is from. I always put it in the description box. It's from Zara. Sorry, let me move this. It's from Zara, but I purchased it in the store like three years ago. And I mean, honestly, it's really good quality because it's lasted me this long. And yeah, they don't have it anymore. But when I went to the store a few times, I've seen olive green coats. They always make similar stuff, even if it's not the exact same style. But I saw a very similar style in the store. So go check it out if you want. And the coat is like a double layer, like you can wear it, usually you see with a big puffy fur thing, but you can actually take that part off and just wear this part of the coat, which I like because sometimes it's, it's like so heavy and big, that, that big fluffy thing. So I just wanted to wear it like this today because I'm going to be running around and it gets pretty warm in my car anyways. I'm going to go get my nails done. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm so excited to fix my broken pinky nail. Ugh, I cannot believe I did that. Yeah, I have no 
idea what to do. My car is warm now. I'm gonna go get my nails done. I asked you guys on Snapchat to send me some nail inspo because I really have no idea what to do today. So hopefully somebody will inspire me to do something with my basic nails. My nail appointment ended up getting pushed back till 12. It was supposed to be 11.30, but it just got pushed back a half hour. So I stopped by Ulta and I picked up two things. I really only wanted the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's like my favorite. But then I saw the shape, um, the shape, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm gonna be trying this out today. I don't even know if it's the right shade for me. I got the shade medium. I was in between medium and tan, but I think my shade might be medium because I'm not self tanning right now. I'm taking a little break from self tanning to embrace my normal skin tone. <laughs> Um, so I think medium might work for me. It looks like it brings a lot of product. Yeah, I think this is going to be my color. I think tan might have been a little too dark. And then the Brow Wiz from Anastasia, I get it in the shade Dark Brown. And my brows are very thankful for this product. Alright. I got my nails done. I did red. Can you guys believe that I did red? I'm still in shock. But I wanted to do red for Christmas. So that's what I did. I will be tired of these nails by the end of the week. I bet. I know it. That's why I always do like nude neutral nails. Because those are the colors that I like. You got to stick to what you like in life, you know? I'm starving. It's 2.45. I, have, I haven't had anything to eat at all today. Other than coffee because I ran out the door for my nail appointment. I just got to Harmons. Um, I'm looking for the new L'Oreal foundation. There's a new L'Oreal foundation. I went to Ulta this morning, they didn't have it. Um, so I'm gonna try Harmons now, and if not, I'll check Target, but I don't really wanna go to Target. That's why I'm trying to avoid it. I'd rather just go to Target tomorrow morning. And I'm next to a Panera Bread. So I think I'm gonna get some soup. There's like a soup that I like and I'm not really a soup person, but this soup is so good So I am going to go there after this And oh, I got a message. Hold on For this fun. Oh my god, by the way, Instagram just released their new update. It's called Instagram live stories So you can live stream on the Instagram app. I'm so excited. I just did the update and I have the live stories option so when I get home, I'm gonna do a little live streaming. Or maybe I'll do it in the car, we'll see. I ended up finding the new L'Oreal foundation. I'm very excited. This is what it looks like. And I got the shade number 308. It's called Infallible Total Cover. It's supposed to be a full coverage foundation, but it has a weightless feel. So we shall see how it actually works. I wanna do a first impression for you guys probably tomorrow. And I got the number 308. I thought it was gonna be lighter cause I'm pretty light right now, but it looks dark but i opened it and i put a little bit on my hands and it's a little light it's a um, it's lighter than the tube i don't know and i put some on i don't know uh, bungles yeah right i look a hot mess uh i just ordered some food for me and chris he's on his way home from work now and yeah i bought stuff at the supermarket yesterday i bought like chicken and asparagus to make but i'm just gonna make it tomorrow because i completely forgot about it and i already ordered food do you want to say hi to everyone <laughs> he's so funny that's how he gets my attention he just like does that whatever that is maxi come up here come up here babe you're really cute i can't take you um maxi babe so I think I'm going to officially move out the last week of December. Um, that's like when I'm just going to pack everything up. So right after Christmas, like the day after Christmas, I'm just going to start packing everything up um, and get all the moving done so that I can be settled before New Year's Eve because that's when I need to be out anyways. I have no choice. I'm saying it like I have a choice. I don't have a choice. I have to go do my eyebrows now. Uh, I also got to pick up dog food for Max, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pick up the dog food first because that's on my way And it's so annoying because the dog food that I get him I need to start ordering it on Amazon because Amazon has it 
but the dog food that i get him they only sell it at this one location and the dog store by me doesn't have it it has like the same brand in every type except the one i get max so every month i'm like i'm gonna order on amazon next time and then i don't but next time i really am gonna order on amazon because i hate going to the other one because it's so far so yeah i'm gonna go get my brows done and then when i get back home i'm gonna try to film the first impressions video i'm hoping that that shade matches me because i really don't want to go back to the store but i really feel like that shade's gonna match me i should have picked up the other one just in case but i think it's gonna match me i was out running a bunch of errands like i told you guys um and i've been home for the past couple hours and i was supposed to start filming but i'm not I was like debating if I should film or not because I just feel so exhausted. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me, but for the last all month, really, like, I've just been feeling like super drained. Like, I can't do much. Um, so, I really don't know, like, what it is. I should probably go to the doctor <laughs> and find out because I just, I, I feel drained and I haven't been wanting to sit down and film because just the thought of setting everything up. Um, and talking is just draining me but I as tired as I am I was really excited to film this video for you guys so I just didn't think about it and I just set everything up so that I can film see I'm just tired all day long I don't know what's wrong but I'm just gonna push through because I want to film this video for you guys hi babes I'm so tired I ended up going to the gym <laughs> which by the way i'm so out of shape this is what happens when you go to the when you stop when you work out and then you stop working out like you just your life just turns into a hot mess but i'm gonna get it together i'm gonna get it together this week next week no i already started getting it together i even had a healthy meal i made chicken and asparagus and it was so good if you guys followed me in the summer you know i was obsessed when i was hardcore dieting i was obsessed with eating chicken with asparagus and i still am it's the easiest thing to do literally i just put the asparagus on a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil put some lemon juice and pepper black pepper and that's it black pepper not like chopped the peppers which is good too but black pepper and it tastes so so good in my opinion anyways and i was reading up on the benefits of asparagus and it says it's one of the vegetables that helps you burn calories somehow i don't know so it was a good combo and i remember that was when i was seeing the best results when i kept eating that and then i stopped and i wasn't getting the results like i was before but after i read the whole burning calorie thing i think that's what it was so i'm doing it again i made a bunch of asparagus and i made some chicken and i'm gonna make chris some mashed potatoes because he does not like asparagus and he needs carbs so i'm gonna make him that but i'm not gonna have any even though I would want some honestly actually i don't even want any i'm lying to myself i'm really full it was actually really filling look at what a good boy i have maxi maxi i know you hear me ha <laughs> hi babe you're going to doggy boot camp tomorrow are you excited okay whatever cold today I woke up in just the worst mood ever I, like there's like no saving this mood I feel like I just want to go to sleep for like a week straight and not deal with anyone's problems at least I hope no one shares their problems with me today like that's the one thing I asked of the universe like let me have peace for 24 hours I'm just like having a moment oh my gosh I'm tired guys I'm tired and like I'm trying to stay positive and in a good mood but it's just hard sometimes Instagram is always adding new features so they just added live stories they added Instagram I'm um, like kind of like snapchat and now they have this option where you can save photos which is kind of cool because now you don't have to screenshot things that you want to remember. You can save them. That is so cool. I keep calling. I'm trying to get Max into that class today. I keep calling them. No one answers. I've emailed them. I don't understand. I 
don't understand what is happening. I couldn't say like I really don't want to go but I could this lighting though like I don't understand even the lighting is playing me right now it just keeps going dark and light uh, yo, I should probably not even vlog today because it's just one of those freaking days so I'm feeling a little bit better I went to eat with my mom and my brother um, feeling just a little bit better I'm still like kind of just blah today but I'm trying to deal with it also, I just got an email back finally from I've been trying to reach them since this morning even from yesterday I was trying to reach them and no one would answer The dog place for max. They finally emailed me back and they said that if I can get there 15 minutes before the class starts Then I can have max join in which makes me so happy I'm so excited because I have been dying to get him into this class and they don't give the class every week, so it's been hard to figure out a day where I can sign him up. But finally, we're gonna take him today. I'm so, so excited. I hope he learns. <laughs> oh my gosh, that little boy, he's so he's so sweet and so crazy, but he does need structure. The, the day actually turned around, hallelujah. I, I ended up changing my shirt too. I just needed to wear black. That's what I needed to do. This is my color, but we took max to the obedience class and we got him registered and signed up he wasn't able to start today because nobody was there actually like no other dogs came and the trainer wasn't even there so he signed up he's gonna start next week i'm so excited for him to start because he doesn't even listen to me um he only listens when he wants to so we gotta change that sorry i'm like trying to fix this but I'm excited for doggy class to start, doggy boot camp. Where you at, Max? Where you at? He's playing with a little treat. Hi, babe. Even while we were signing up, he was being bad. He was like chewing on his leash, not listening when I would call him. So, yeah. How are you guys liking Instagram Live? I've been going on every single day since the update happened. But I mean, the update only happened like three days now, right? But yeah, I've been going on every single day. I love it. I want to be live like 24 seven. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna keep doing it.